If you've not achieved anything in life, that is one of the greatest achievements anyone can never credit to himself. A lot of people can always say, I never knew him, but I knew him. I mean, you wouldn't see a James Sibori and say, I never knew him, but I knew him. <laughs> you know, or how many of the so-called leaders would you say, I, I never knew him, but I knew him. You know, so that is the first takeaway we, we got from the pilot. Uh, the second one I want to say is, um, you know, Francis and those who grew up with um, Pius when he was a child, you know, they, they, they saw him as a child. So they are relating to a brother. But a lot of us who met Pius as compatriots in the struggle to liberate our country uh, saw him as a comrade. And um, one thing is very unique about Pius. Amongst all comrades, he remains one of the very few that you can agree to disagree. That you can decide that today you're going to stand on the same point, and tomorrow you will say, No, be that place I live with you. And the humanity in him will still remain the same. You know, some of the time, I, 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 I pulled him out of Facebook to Twitter. And when he goes onto Twitter, his first week, he ran back. <laughs> he called me and said, <laughs> because on Facebook he was the king. Anything he says is the uh, his professor. And it's for me now. I have my mind. Well, Twitter, Twitter has no respect for anybody. <laughs> so when he came with that uh, Facebook, a uh, lot of Facebook, they fired him one or two. Three, so he came back and said, Whoa. He said, Baba. <laughs> I'm not a how much you need respect. <laughs> you know, so I have to tell him to calm down. So I gave him an assignment. I said, go and read comments on my post on Twitter. And he and he did. And he came back to me and said, ah, how do you survive? <laughs> so, but he was a professor, but a great learner. In very few days, he learned the art of Twitter and started gaining friends and followers, respect from all sides of the divide. And there's one thing on, on social media. Pius is the only person that he has an opinion on everything <laughs> and every topic. And you know, myself and himself supported a, a candidate in 2015, and in 2019 he said, Baba, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> and um, he kept firing my candidate. So I had to go and mute him on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and then mute him on Facebook. <laughs> because there are some friends you don't want to openly, you know, the thing will go hit you. And Pius' words are so powerful, the truth, you know? He, he, he would not say it if it's not the truth. He doesn't criticize out of malice. He would criticize because that is the truth. And if you are supporting a candidate and your friend is saying the truth and you have to defend your candidate, you can't, you, and you don't want to sacrifice your friend for your candidate. The compromise is just muting. So, but you know Twitter, people are very wicked. They will still come and put it in my DM. See, your friend is saying this, you do not comment. <laughs> you know, then I'll try and call him and explain some things to him. He was a, so he is a great friend. He is a great friend. 